Hey, how's it going? Well, I guess I've pissed some people off on social media because I agreed with Martin Scorsese about the Marvel movies, that they're more like a theme park than cinema. Now, it's, I mean, he's, Martin Scorsese isn't saying these movies have no value. He's saying that they're more like watching, they're more like going to a theme park. They're more like going on a roller coaster ride. Or also like watching the cutscenes in a video game. You know, yeah, there's all this, this stuff visually on the screen and all this impressive audio. But what about, you know, genuine human interactions? What about the psychological experiences of people? What about the emotions of people? You know, and, and you could say, oh, well, I, I, I feel for these characters, and, and I, I question how. I mean, in contrast to movies that aren't filmed this way, movies that aren't based on comic books, it, there's, a, there's a huge difference. I suppose, though, a lot of this has to do with whether you're a fan of comic books. I'm not. Now, to me, I mean, if, if, if these movies were being filmed more like Sin City, which, was a, which is a technical marvel, using the word marvel there, um, where they were, they were trying to make it look like a comic book and keep to that sort of tradition, I, I th I'd think it was great. You know, if it was like uh, Tim Burton's original Batman movie, yeah, I, th I think that would be cool. If it was like 1980 uh, Flash Gordon, I'd think that was cool. It's not taking itself too seriously. It's sticking with this comic book feel. Yeah, yeah I, I'd, I'd, I think that's great. But no, no, they're trying to be all serious about it. It makes me think of professional wrestling. You know? The, the stupid drama that's in professional wrestling. It's, it's laughable. But they still try to somehow make it serious. And we're supposed to feel for those characters. You know? It's, eh. I was... Uh, in my posts about this on social media, uh, someone had recommended uh, Thor Ragnarok. I was only able to get through about 25 minutes of that movie, and I just had to turn it off. I was like, this is, this is terrible. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's, like I said, it's kind of like uh, watching wrestling or watching uh, Disney sitcoms. You know how people act in Disney sitcoms. People don't react in realistic ways. That's not... That's not how someone would react to this situation. That's not what someone would say to this situation. But they still try to make it somehow seem real anyway. Right? Um, I mean, the Thor Ragnarok started it with this... Uh, with him, Thor being in this cage with these brand new chains wrapped around him. Um... And he's having some dialogue with uh, with uh, uh, with himself as if he's sort of talking to this skeleton that's next to him. Where you know he has the perfect beard. He has the, his hair was was crafted a very particular way. You know, very Xena like. And it's just like that's not the kind of dialogue someone would have if if. They were there for a very long time. Um, I mean, it's not like Tom Hanks and Castaway, where he was on this island for years. You know, this looks like he was just placed there just a f few moments ago. You know, or, or does someone... I don't know. He's Thor, so he doesn't need to eat, and he doesn't need to pee, and he doesn't need to... He can just sit somewhere for years... And his beard won't grow, and I, I don't know. Just <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, the, the dialogue right from the start was cringeworthy to, to me. Then he he the the, the floor drops out, and he, and he's treated like a yo-yo with these chains around him. And there's more cringeworthy dialogue with between Thor and this fire creature. 
And it's like, oh, God, no. You know? All the dialogue through, throughout the, the, the 25 minutes of that movie that I watched was just... Well, almost all, I won't say all, but almost all of the dialogue was cringeworthy. And they tried to make it so serious. And people can feel sorry for the characters, have, feel attachment to these characters that, are, that have this dialogue, this kind of dialogue. Wow. I know, the whole thing just seems very Xena-like. If you remember the show Xena... You know, same same sort of problem. People don't react the way that people would really react. It's kind of like Xena. It's kind of like Charmed, you know. And so Thor eventually arrives back at the city, the, the, the this magical city, whatever it's called, I don't know. And... You know, people are... They're, they're, the, the main reaction is, oh... You know, to someone who was supposed to be gone forever, apparently, and he's back, Thor is back, and uh, the person sort of running the show there, the, the king or the emperor or whatever, uh, we find out isn't really the emperor, isn't really the king, isn't really the father or whatever, and... Uh, Thor threatens him with, with death, so, oh, he changes form and gets out of the way of the hammer. And pe oh, people's only reaction is, oh, people aren't freaking out that, uh, oh, they were being duped, that they were being lied to. None of that. None of the people come up and say, you were lying to us. None of that. No, just people just, oh. Just the, the way it seems throughout the 25 minutes that I watched, that's how people react unrealistically you know it's, i don't understand why why is the, where's the cinema where is the the genuine human interactions where is the psychological anything no it's it's like watching xena then there's a scene where thor and his brother uh, are having a conversation with their father I put these in quotation marks because there's probably more backstory to this that I don't know because I didn't watch the first two movies. And every, they're, they're, they say things very casually. No matter how extreme the subject matter is, they discuss it casually. And then the father's like, uh, oh, well, it's, it's it basically, oh, it's time for me to go die. And then he turns into dust and they don't have any sort of significant reaction to that. Except, at one point, uh, Thor clenches his fists and you see lightning coming from them a little bit. Oh, this is your fault. That's the extent of the, the emotions that are felt out of that. I don't know, man. I just, I... I'm just not impressed. And apparently, you know, people feel, people really feel for these characters. And I'm just, whatever. Um, no matter how realistic they try to make this stuff, the the source material is a comic book. You know, again, I, 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 if these things were being filmed in a way that tries to make it like a comic book, I'd probably be able to get into them more. You know, it's kind of an art form, but no, it's it's about a, it's like a theme park. I, I agree with Martin Scorsese. So. I guess that can really piss some people off. Um, and it's it amazes me just how seriously people take this comic book stuff. I was never able to get into comic books. As a kid, they, they always seem silly to me. They seem kind of stupid to me. Same with professional wrestling. It's always seemed pretty stupid to me. But people take this stuff so seriously, and if they don't... And if they're not serious enough about the uh, the way that they're filmed, it, it pisses uh, comic it pisses uh, comic book fans off. If they change any of the demographics of any of the characters, oh my goodness, that really pisses off the uh, the comic book fans. I'm just like, whatever, you know. I I just don't understand it. It goes over my head. 
So I'm with Martin Scorsese about about these Marvel movies. You know, they're more like a theme park. Go ahead and leave your hate comments uh, in the comment section. And go ahead and give it a thumbs down because you hate what I'm saying. You know, to each their own. If you enjoy this, th those sorts of things, have at it. I'm not telling you not to enjoy it. I'm just saying that I don't enjoy it. Anyway. <laughs>